when we want to calculate how, how big should this container be or pit, uh, in most of the books, including your textbook, uh, you will have a, a table looking more or less like this. It's the uh, uh, traditional model. I call it the static model. Uh, it's based on observations uh, of uh, lifetime compared to volume, compared to number of users. And then they go in and say, if you have a wet pit where you add a lot of water, you will need to have uh, 0 uh, 04 cubic meter per person per year. And then you say, okay, I have five people, I want it to last for 10 years, then I get this volume. Um, and that is if you only use water for annual cleansing. If you use uh, other stuff, uh, you need to increase the volume. This is translated into 40 uh, uh, liters uh, per person per year. So you have five people in the family, it's 200 liters, 10 years, 2,000 liters. Here, uh, it will become 3,000 liters. Now, if you have a dry pit with anal cleansing with water or solids, your numbers increases because the decomposition processes are a little bit slower. Uh, I will show you another model uh, with more realistic numbers because uh, the last one can actually become quite big, uh, uh, too big actually. There's a, a, a thing uh, I want to explain this, uh, PE uh, is a person equivalent. Uh, it's uh, equal to an uh, adult of uh, 70 kilos. So according to body weight, if you have a child, 35 kilos is half a PE. Infant, quarter of PE. So when I talk about a standard family of five PE, it can actually be four uh, adults, parents, uh, big children, then uh, one small one and uh, two infants. So you might have up to seven people. But we just use as a standard five people, five adults. Um, now, uh, WHO have made a big report and they come up with uh, the average for one person on, on this world is producing 100 liters of feces per year. Um, I'll be using these uh, numbers on the next slide. Um, <coughs> The whole point is that the static model do not take into account uh, the dewatering and decomposition of the fecal matter uh, over time. It does, but only on a short time scale. Uh, the next model will uh, be dealing with latrines that can last for much more than uh, 10 years. Um, the dynamic model will take into account the dewatering and decomposition uh, over time, where after a period of six years, you only have about six to 10% volume left, uh, provided you don't put a lot of uh, rubbish, uh, solid waste into uh, the pit. Uh, so the purple line is if you use the static uh, formula for designing, you just have a, a, a constant increase in volume but if you take the dynamic model, uh, it will actually even out after the first six years and only increase like uh, 50 liters uh, per year per family because the 5P will produce five times 100 liters of feces, which will go down to 10%. Um, now, you can actually extend uh, this one to uh, 20 years and it will still be uh, just a, under here, uh, 2,000. Uh, so to be sure that you have enough space, you need to make a pit of uh, 2,000 to 2,500 liters, and then you'll have a lifetime for 20 plus years. In the latrines, uh, we have uh, three parts. Uh, the top uh, is a protection, uh, privacy, uh, of giving shade, depending on the model. Uh, we have a platform, that's the floor, 
so you don't fall into the hole and that's what you have in the bottom the receptacle uh, I don't write hole because uh, sometimes you might build a, a box uh, but these are the parts so uh, the person will be sitting up here and all the waste will go down here the liquids will infiltrate and the solids here will decompose over time uh, types of on-site sanitation you have a simple latrine like the model we just saw uh, the cover in the middle can be very simple we've seen some of the pictures from uh, Tanzania uh, not all of you but uh, you have some uh, wood uh, with some uh, mud um, it works it's just difficult to clean uh, so it's not so hygienic uh, in order to improve uh, the quality uh, so you can clean it easier you can uh, use uh, concrete or plastic slab um, you can go in and uh, put some ventilation the VIP latrine is ventilated improved pit latrine uh, it's a model that takes away smell and also uh, very much reduce uh, the number of flies uh, coming out of the pit um, you have something where uh, you put the superstructure aside uh, so you don't build it on top of the pit uh, that might actually uh, facilitate that you can uh, uh, dig out the stuff later or you don't need so much support on the pit because there's not so much weight um, or you can have a raised, raised pit latrine if you have uh, high, high water uh, or risk of flooding uh, you might uh, want to get it a little bit up and uh, then if you want to go uh, ecological you might have uh, two receptacles so you use one for a period uh, and then you shift to another one while the first one is resting until it's hygienic then you can uh, empty the first one and then you shift back uh, and then you just shift every year uh, you can make it with uh, uh, ventilation also um, we have another type uh, where you have uh, water flushed uh, latrines um, it's called poor flush again you can build uh, different models uh, where you can have uh, the pit and the flush pan this is a flush pan uh, offset uh, not on top of it uh, you can have two uh, pits again for, for the purpose of uh, being able to empty it while it's uh, hygienic you shouldn't empty a, a, a new pit because it's full of fresh shit uh, that's very dirty work and then of course you can have uh, flush toilets with uh, septic tanks that we know from Denmark also from the rural areas or summer houses uh, the ecological sanitation we have something called Apollo uh, it's, it's a mix of, of Latin and, and English it's actually uh, translated into, into plant a tree latrine so you have a very shallow pit and then you plant uh, a tree when it's uh, after half a year and you dig another uh, small pit you move the whole uh, superstructure and slab uh, Forst Alterna is a, a, a cost into this system where you have two pits and you shift between them but you move the slab and the superstructure uh, and then you empty uh, from time to time uh, a Swedish model Muldrum uh, latrine very advanced very expensive uh, last year we had uh, some case uh, villages in Himalaya so we introduced a, a model fit for Himalaya um, I don't think it will uh, work for India and Tanzania but it's nice to see uh, and then double vault latrine again two two containers so you can use one for a period then you shift and let it rest and then after some time it's hygienic and you can move it out and then we have this uh, shared sanitation uh, shared latrines uh, between a number of families or public latrines for a big uh, group 
Um, many people will be talking about ecological sanitation because this issue of uh, reusing the, the nutrition uh, has a lot of value in people's mind. Um, it also has a lot of problems. Uh, so it should only be uh, used in, in, in cases where it's really thought through and people actually accept and fully understand the implications of uh, doing this. People have to accept and there must be a benefit. If there's no benefit of uh, removing uh, the shit every year, then people will lose uh, motivation. Uh, you can actually get some value, uh, especially from the urine. Uh, um, here it, it goes in and talk about the uh, the content, the the quantity, and what value it will represent if you use it for uh, agriculture, uh, recycling the nutrition. So, thirty forty dollars a year for a family, that's that's okay, if you're very poor. Uh, so it can work uh, if you have the proper. Uh, introduction to the uh, to the subject and, and uh, catch people uh, and convince them. We have something called a sanitation ladder where we start in the bottom with the open defecation that we don't like. We want to do something better. Uh, we call it a ladder because you step up and you get improved quality every time you step. So it could, for example, be unimproved uh, latrine then improve slab, VAP latrine, something else, uh, poor flush, and then in the end of flush toilets like we have here at the DTU. Uh, the ladder can actually be designed uh, to, to, different, uh, uh, to look different depending on your project areas, uh, because you might uh, decide that there are some methods uh, building technologies that are more suited uh, to your project area compared to others. It could be based on uh, culture also. Uh, you should not introduce a technology that is against people's culture. If people want to use water, they need to have something using water. 